Hello everyone, I hope you're doing great. Today will be a big video, as I've not covered the past updates, and there have been quite a few. We'll have a look at the brand new Ice and Dust expansion set, check out 20 new miniatures and the Forest Booster Pack, and we will then be looking at some new options such as the Photo Mode and the Compass. To finish, we will look at the long-awaited Water update. Right on schedule, we'll start with the Ice and Dust expansion set which adds 36 new assets to the game. There is 21 new tiles in the desert category, 12 new tiles in the winter set, and 3 new jungle points have been added to the natural tile set. I will let you have a look at those sets in detail in the following shots. We're also blessed to have received new figurines in an earlier update. The Heroic Miniature update included 20 new amazing figurines from various races as follow. There is 4 Halfling, an Elf and a Dark Elf, 2 Dwarfs, 3 Humans, Two dry and eye, two half orbs, four half demon, and two clockwork people. We also received a little bit later the enchanted forest booster update with four new figurines added to Tellspire. A fairy, a magic hammer, and a giant toad and a treant. Those were all the new figurines added in the last few weeks. Though a recent update also included a new photo or camera mode, and this mode is likely to evolve and get improved upon as everything is still in beta for Tellspire. Currently, the in-game camera is locked on the vertical axis preventing you from looking top-down or down-up. But by pressing the F6 key, you can now enter the photo mode. A new panel of options will appear, while the classic interface will disappear. You can now easily change the depth of field parameters, modify the exposure, the vignette and the chromatic aberration strength. You can also change the time of day, sun orientation, all of that without impacting your board as all change in the photo mode only affect the photo mode. The photo mode also only works for you and is local, meaning that all the players currently on your board won't see anything change. You can also edit the post effects, but you can now completely disable the fog, which is a handy feature to have. The aliasing options are also present, though set by default on the lowest setting, not completely disabled, but only on the lowest setting, I would recommend to either remove it or set it to SMAA, which is my favorite type of anti-aliasing that is currently available when you take a screenshot. New camera modes are also available. The classic one is still there, but now you have a free camera option to get more precise placement. The last camera mode is an experimental orthographic mode that allows you to see your map from a top-down angle without perspective deformation. It can be really handy to see precisely on the battlefield or to make 2D screenshots. The sole issue currently, in my opinion, is that you cannot zoom out enough of your map, which makes it a bit difficult sometimes if you have big maps. With the latest update, we cannot toggle a campus in the game settings, and you're able to freely move it around your screen. Well, even off screen, but as the position resets each time you launch Telspire, at the moment it's not an issue of losing your compass because you put it off screen. 
can also choose to set where the north is pointing as a game master and it will change it for all party members. This will be saved. On other and final news, water is wet and we now have water in Telspire. You can already see how well it works. I have to remind you that this will be improved upon or likely to be reworked or changed. For now, you can simply raise up the water level and going underwater even displays bubble and a lovely sound effect. All music will be muted and will come back slowly to the game as if your ears were getting accustomed to the new sounds of underwater. The water surface is also animated in slow motion that gets quicker when you move the water plane and slow back down when you stop moving it. You can also toggle the water build display to hide the water surface and build or see easier while keeping an eye on your water level. This is all I had to show you for today's video. I hope that you learned something and I wish you a very good day.